Hey guys, this is Peter and I dropped a lot on you on the last couple days. So first off, we have a new 5G modem. This one is from, well, it's from Elsys, but it's now from Waveform. Waveform is adding some local support to it. They also added uh, some firmware changes to make it more usable. I'm about to show you that. I also showed you this. I showed you Mint Mobile. It now has a new card out. Wow, and that's really exciting. I love this modem that they they bundle with it. It's a really nice one. However, it doesn't meet all of my needs, but it's a great modem, and I'm going to keep it. So, but for educational purposes only, I'm going to pull the SIM card from it and show you how I can make it work, and even something like this. I can make it work in the new waveform, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Just for educational purposes, this is a great modem and I do have a waveform antenna and I'm going to marry the two together and get some really good second internet with it. Um, I can even use the other modem that I showed you uh, from the um, GLINet and make a failover. So that's going to be kind of neat. But let's go and do this. First off, I want to benchmark it for you because I was remiss. I didn't benchmark it for you before I ran it. Am I plugged into it? No, I have so many internets going right now. Let's see. I do have my uh, my my Elsa Sampler Max. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and speed speed test this. This is an Elsa Sampler Max sitting on my roof, and it's running a T-Mobile for T-Mobile for Home card actually. So uh, the key with liberating these cards, if you will, is you need your IMEI. You need your APN, and you need to be able to set those. Ooh, getting over 500, 550, 550, nice. Uh, and you need to be able to, um, it's your APN and uh, your IMEI. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We just changed those two, and uh, we're off to the races. So let's do that. Now, it's very important when you do get a device and you decommission it and copy the IMEI, that's like a, a serial number. So, A, don't do anything wrong with this. And some people go, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something fully illegal. And it's like, no, you can kill someone with a hammer, but it's not a good idea. So I'm still paying all the bills. I'm just getting the most out of the service that I'm paying for. I'm not trying to get something that I'm not paying for. And that is the big difference. Okay. Anyway, 555 and 100. So, wow, that's really darn good. Now I'm going to plug it into the the Elsys, which, or sorry, the Elsys that stamped uh, waveform, and uh, I'm going to do a benchmark on that. All right, so I'm back. So I took the, now I have another, uh, well, this one is the, the ProLink from waveform, and it's the modified Elsys. It is a neat antenna. Let's see what I'm getting on it, just so you can kind of follow along. I'm going to have to hit F5 and probably log into it. Yep. There we go. There it is. I'm getting pretty good score. 93. Some people would freak out at a 93. I'm getting N41 and N25. And ah, pretty good score. Pretty good score. Pretty good score. Okay. Ooh, this bandwidth fluctuates. Sometimes it says 90 uh, megahertz, and sometimes it says uh, 100. It does better when it says 100. This one usually says 20. There we go. It, let's marry those two together, see what kind of speeds we get. This, of course, is 5G SA. There's the ping. These products should be very, very, very similar in their results. In fact, if you said, hey, look, it's different slightly. You're, the other one was better. No, it's the same. It's, it's just this is the fluctuation between one and the other. And with the uplink as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit better. But I'm going to put that down to fluctuation. You know, I want to test out real quickly. I'm going to put this on pause. And let's test out the other one. The other one being the... The one that comes with uh, uh, Mint Mobile. Let's try that. All right. In the interest of being fair, I'm going to tell you that my Mint Mobile is using its internal antennas and not its external antennas. But here it is, and I just wanted to do a quick test. You can kind of see before and after the same card before and after. I'm just going to hit the button. Yeah, hit the button. Now, neat product. I like that ping. Not sure why the ping's so low. Perhaps it's because not a lot of people are using 
mobile internet and some people would say hey that's not fair because you know they it's a different APN maybe there's less traffic on it I'm not sure why that reason is but there's the speed right now okay this is because it's 5G NSA 5G NSME means non standalone it means that the primary signal is actually a 4G LTE and um, it's still pretty good that's not a bad score and when I put my external antennas on this this of course amplifies imagine going outside and trying to hear something from a noise that's outside it's just an unfair advantage to go outside I was getting really good scores you can look at that video I was getting really good scores with this totally happy with this I'm going to take the same service the same card same sim card right now and go put it into the uh, waveform pro link which really is an Elsa Samplamax, but I'm gonna use some of the new firmware features to go ahead and change that IMEI and change my APN and make this hopefully work. I'm pretty confident, but I love to go like this for cinematic effect. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Let me just show you this really quick. This is my, uh, the 4G SE that oh, was sent to me from Mint Mobile. It does say T-Mobile on it. You can see that right there. I'm going to yank out this little SIM card right here on the bottom and go try it out. All right, well, I'm back. So uh, I went up to the roof and I changed out the card. Let's see if this lets me refresh. No, it doesn't like it. 192. 10.254. All right, I'm going to reboot it from down here. All you need to do to reboot these things is remove the power, which is power over Ethernet. So I'm just going to unplug it over there. All right, so it popped back up and said that there's a network available, and yay, that's what I was looking for. So here's what we got. Uh, I'm going to log back in. And it shouldn't work, right? So I'd be surprised. If, well, let's see. Look at that very strange tower it's pointing at. Huh. I'd be surprised if there's any network here to be had. Let's find out for fun. That's a shocker right there. Okay, because I haven't got in. I, I imagine the APN's the same. Same? No, it should be different. This may not keep working. So we're going to go in and make the proper settings anyway. And I'm surprised this thing isn't locked. Well, not entirely. They just launched it. So they should be locking it down. I should change the IMEI. But as of yet, I haven't. That's just the plain awful truth hasn't been changed and that's a decent score mind you look at that up score so much better than I was getting before 9 and 122 hmm. uh, if you're backing things up to the cloud being able to push that hard is awesome if you are making videos like I do yeah, being able to push that hard is awesome if you serve things um, which a device like this can do because you are can put it in a mode did I have it in that mode ah, where is it I have it in bridge mode, single, a, a single NAT. But let's go and change the uh, APN. APN, ooh, okay. This is probably going to be FBB Home because it's T-Mobile Home Internet. And it's going to save it and ask if I want to restart. And I'm going to say no because I have more changes to make. I'm going to go ahead and grab this unit. There we go. On the bottom. Oh no, nice and big on the back. Fantastic. And nice and big so that uh, the old man doesn't need his glasses. Actually, I see really, really good close up. It's in the distance. I can't see stuff. It's funny. People always wave to me in the surf or something. You know? They'll be like, dude, I waved to you. You didn't wave back. And you're like, I don't see anything. <laughs> All right. Let me just get to this. It looks like we're ready to go. That looks saved. Operating bands, no, no. I'm gonna to go to utility. Here it is, AT commands. All right, so we're gonna paste in an AT command right here. What this one should do is report to me what my IMEI currently is. So I'm gonna send that off. You must enable debug mode. Oh, there we go, sorry. Okay and send 
there it is. That's the number that I want. This is my default IMEI. So, all right, so now what I want to do is type a very similar command, and that's this one, and I want to change to what I want it to be. What I want it to be is what is registered on their network, which is the same one that's on the back of my device. All right, let me just make double sure. All right, now I'm just going to hit send. All right, now I'm going to paste in this fit my first command as a read and make sure that it got what I wanted. Yes, it indeed changed to what I had typed in. So um, that's great. Now I can reboot. I've changed my IMEI and I've changed my APN um, so that I should be logging into the net right network and reporting myself as the proper party. This is all good. I want to reboot it now. How do I save everything and reboot? Update. All right, restart ProLink. Let's do it. This might take a few seconds, I'm gonna pause. All right, well, it popped up and said I have a new network. Okay, that was really weird because it came up and said it wasn't working, but then I clicked around for a little bit and now it does. So now it says it's here and it's in SIM card two, sure. And 94, let's see what kind of scores I'm getting. All right, so it is 5G NSA, which you can't do with this modem. This won't do, this says 5G. NSA. 5G SA is going to give me better upload scores and look at that. 100, negative 78, 10, and 28. That's a great signal noise ratio. Uh, it's just unfair being outside and pointing directly at the tower, but that's the kind of unfair advantage that's going to do really well when you're trying to get home internet over 5G. Putting it outside and going and getting it out there. Sure, you can get an antenna like I'm going to do with this one and reach it that way but this allows me a lot more flexibility is to placement because we're not limited to 20 feet like this antenna cable I can go 300 feet that's why this is a real game changer let's go ahead and benchmark this just for fun in fact I'm gonna pull up a clean one speedtest.net see it recognizes it at T-Mobile even though it is a mint mobile card but All right, I'm running it again, but I'm getting 600 on the way up. I did jump to a 40 millisecond ping, but now I'm getting a 650. That's more than an outlier. That's different. Go! There we go. All right, sometimes it takes a second to stabilize on these networks, but this is solid, and there's no reason this shouldn't work. This is absolutely exactly right. I got the right network, and I'm reporting myself the right way. And as far as tests go that's a total success so I am going to take the card and put it back in here because as I mentioned this is for educational purposes only and I do like this radio it is really good and I'm going to use it for a redundant internet this thing's heavy by the way hey guys real quick I did want to say happy Thanksgiving today is Thanksgiving which means tomorrow is Black Friday and this just dropped so uh, I'd actually put this on the other video too but look, this is an outstanding price. And some people say, he'll just put links to whatever he makes money off. I make no money off of this whatsoever. I don't have affiliate marketing through Waveform uh, on their main site. So uh, when you buy it through Amazon, sure, I make some money. But this is a better price. And you're what I'm thankful for. You guys uh, watching my videos and allowing me to share what I do. And uh, it's, it's fun. So, and I enjoy it. So thank you so much. And, uh, Hey, if you wanted to get that, this is 80 bucks off and it's going to be for four more days. Anyway, guys, Hey, thanks for watching and, um, catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon.